Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is Game Matthews 5 and today I'm bringing to a player review. Now this player is going to be the Irish Rude Hullet and he's none other than the 81 rated first in form James McCarthy. He's 5 foot 11, has a medium high work rate, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill move set. I played 5 games and scored 7 goals and got 1 assist. As you can see by the thumbnail, kind of gives away the sort of Irish um, or the Hullet kind of style. But yeah, I packed him. We're going on to his in-game stats, or we're on his in-game stats currently, and as you can see they are absolutely insane, like genuinely, he has loads of high green stats, loads of other stats that are absolutely just dark green, and overall he's a mixed sort of player. His long shots and um, just overall shooting isn't the best from range, but when you're in close like here, when you're inside the proximity of the box, you're going to finish it 9 times out of 10. It will be going into the back of the net. You just don't need to doubt any foot, either left or right, you're going to slot it into the back of the net. If you had 4 star skill moves, he'd be an absolutely insane player. But, you know, 3 star is good enough. All you need are weak shots, or weak shots, fake shots, and some roulettes on the time to time or on the occasion and he will put it into the back of the net, like genuinely. His passing and um, through balls, again, 9 times out of 10, they're going to go to your target player. His penalties and free kicks are an average because, well as you can see, I almost actually missed that one then. So I'm a bit mixed on him for this part. His penalties, I only got one of them overall. Uh, for his free kicks, like, he hasn't got the best free kicks overall, but if you know how to take a free kick, you'll put it in the back of the net, like, easily, you'll be able to slot it slot it into the back of the net. As you see here, left foot, like, through ball, over the top ball to Raheem Sterling, and that's his assist for this game. Right here, I got a clip of trying to go on, like, a little run with him, trying to weave in and out. As you see, no player is going to stop him. He's, like, far better than Yaya Torre, in my view. I've got a Yaya Torre in my club currently, and he just can't, like, keep up with him. As you see there, I hit the crossbar from the free kick, almost get the rebound, but I don't sadly. Uh, but yeah, to be honest, he's a fast and agile player. When he starts running, you're not going to stop him. He's 84 physical, which means basically he's really strong. Like, you're not going to knock him off the ball that easily, or people aren't. He's got 80 passing. Again, all of his stats are just high, high stats. All above 70, all above 75 if you exclude the shooting. But pretty much, if you're playing him in a CDM role, then yeah, he'll do the great job of being an amazing defender that's fast, great at tracking back and more. If you're playing him in the attacking role, he still tracks back a tiny bit, but genuinely, overall, he is an insane card. He is the cheap or the inform Irish Hullet, and I'd recommend that you go out and purchase him if there are any on the market, as his price cap is 30,000, like 15 to 30,000, which you're just not going to get for a player like this. If he is extinct on the market, then you'll know why, because he is an absolutely insane player. We're coming down to the last of the clips, guys, and the last part of this review. If you have enjoyed, smash the like button down below. Tell me if you'd like any more reviews. I haven't done one in quite a while, so I'm a bit like rusty on them. But yeah, pretty much, I just recommend you go out and purchase this guy, because if you can get him, you will not want to sell him, like, ever again. <laughs> Overall, I'd give him a 9.5 out of 10, as on the occasion his shooting did let me down, but other than that, he's amazing. Like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.